from premature celebrations to scoring on yourself, these are some of the most embarrassing moments in football. And for our first clip, we have one of the funniest red cards you'll ever see. Antony stole the show by scoring the winning goal the 86th minute of the game, and then had an encore performance that we would say was Oscar worthy. He even got a chuckle out of Feyenoord manager Arne Slot. Okay, maybe it's not Oscar worthy considering Tadic had to help him out. Damn, that was a little aggressive. <laughs> but I don't think anything gets more aggressive than this next moment. Check it out for yourself. Gordon brings it down and makes it 3-3. Sealer was looking to punch the ball in frustration. He didn't know Gordon was there. That's got to be the unluckiest punch in history. Man, that is just too painful to watch. But somehow, this next moment's even more painful. It's Ronaldo, what a block by Jim City, and then Morata showboating. I mean, what's more embarrassing than missing at point blank, especially in front of this guy? And if you think that's bad, just wait till you see what happens here. Vincent Abubakar met M. Kelly's cross with a fantastic header. Here go, got the cross in Abubakar! But his celebration was a little too excessive. He's gonna get himself sent off. A costly mistake considering another goal would increase their chances of getting into the next round. Because they need one more. Do they realize they need one more? And he just realized, he's just realized right now. At least his sending off was amicable, right? Because for taking his shirt off, he gets the yellow card his second of the game. And regardless, he helps send Cameroon off the right way. But this next guy got sent off the wrong way. Ergo Telus midfielder Leonardo Kutris was injured, and the stretcher bearers quickly arrived on the scene. But maybe they shouldn't have. He was loaded onto the stretcher with the least amount of delicacy possible, and it went all downhill from there. After a couple trips and slips, they managed to get him off the pitch, but probably not the smoothest landing. If he wasn't badly injured at first, he sure was afterwards. Now, that hurts, but definitely not as bad as our next clip. As if things couldn't get worse for Harry Maguire, he had this unfortunate moment against Spurs. Wide opportunity here is an own goal at the near post. His attempt to cut out Sergio Reggion's cross only succeeded in diverting it into his own net, to hand Tottenham a second equalizer. But as we all know, a goal is a goal, no matter which side. And no one knows that better than Leicester City defender Wout Weiss. Liverpool's cross was heading straight into Danny Ward's gloves when Feist decided to steal the show. But he was just getting started. Just seven minutes later, this happened. Two on goals in the space of six and a half minutes. Wout Feist has been Liverpool's best player. Somehow, Leicester scored all three goals and lost. At least Feist scored a goal, which is more than Mbappe can say. He had a chance to put PSG up early in this game. Mbappe! All right, that was a decent save. Luckily, he got a redemption chance a couple minutes later. Okay, now he's got a wide open net. All right, we give up, which is what the next guys should consider doing too. In a five-a-side match in Turkey, it's hard to tell who's on the attack. But at least they're creating chances, right? The good thing is they don't have to worry about celebrating prematurely, which is more than we could say about the next clip. And this was absolute drama from start to finish. Speaking of drama, just wait until you see this next embarrassing moment. I'm pretty sure it's a good idea to keep your work and personal life separate. But Ludogorets Wanderson celebrated his goal by kissing his wife. The only problem was his goal had been ruled off sides and he had no idea. But I'll tell you who else had no idea. Mark Flecken, who forgot he was in the middle of a football match. Back to the keeper. Where is the keeper? Where is the goalkeeper? Why does this man look like his controller just disconnected in FIFA? Mark Flecken is non-existent. And goalkeeper Mark Flecken was drinking water. You know, it's always good to stay hydrated, but come on, man. I'm starting to guess it's pretty common as the same thing happened to a guy in the Chinese Super League. Unfortunately, it was going to cost him. But nothing would prove more costly than this next moment. And this might be the craziest own goal of all time. Oh no, look out! What a mistake! Can you believe that happened? Oh my word! 
Haitian goalkeeper Jose Dovinger juked himself twice and then miss kicked it into his own net. He is Canadian after all. Maybe he was just trying to do his country a solid. Speaking of goalkeeping nightmares, this next clip is just as painful. Pleading with the ref that you didn't get to finish your trick isn't going to work this time around. Man, you just have to swallow your pride on that one. If you think that's embarrassing, just guess who's making an appearance again. Yep, you guessed it. Harry Maguire again. I'm starting to think at this point, Manchester United probably should consider getting another center back just to defend Maguire. And Amro Tarek pulled one straight out of Maguire's book with this next moment. He must have studied hard since this was his debut. Oh, Without a doubt, this will be a night for him to forget. Oh, but trust me, this next clip will be remembered forever. Tunez took on a heavily favored Brazil, and in the 103rd minute, it was their time to shine. As the old saying goes, seven times is a charm, right? I'll tell you who wasn't charmed though, Minnesota United's fan base. Defender Ike Opara tried to head it back to his keeper, but instead gave Atlanta's star striker Joseph Martinez a nice one-on-one -on -one breakaway. A clearance from LGP and a mental error from Ike Opara. These mental errors can really add up, but nothing requires more mental preparation than penalty kicks. A trip to the finals is on the line. And Martinez is saved by Andre Blake. All right, we'll, we'll get the next one, right? Godoy left foot in. Maybe a third time's a charm? And he's put it over the top! All right, now this is just getting out of control. I guess, Zimmerman, right foot in, he's put it wide! I guess this is why they say PKs are all psychology. And no one knows about psychology more than Amandola Lookman. But his attempt at faking out Lucas Fabianski with a weak Panenka attempt went horribly wrong. What's he done there? Attempting a little deep, and it did not pay off at all. And honestly, when your team is starving for points, the 97th minute is not the time to try that. But nothing is more embarrassing than not being ready for the play, which is what happened to Hiravine's goalkeeper when Alkamar's Adrissi caught him sleeping. Make sure you guys don't get caught sleeping and subscribe to our channel so you never miss a video. We have tons of videos coming out just like this.